Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using a mod called Austria Redone between two giants, 500 plus focuses, which I was watching an ISP video and he was using this focus screen. Uh, basically we're going to go down the same route, take a little longer than him, but just see what it's, uh, what this mod's all about. But the rot vice, rot im jahr 1900, Zexon's Rassic. Austria has experienced unstable times, and the future seems to become even more chaotic. The Fatherland Front dictatorship holds Austria in a grip since 1934. Its initial leader, Adolfus, has been assassinated by Austrian national Dadius in the unsuccessful July Putsch of 34. Germany seeks to unstress Austria, and many in our very own country support this idea. Trying times await us. I'm going to empower the Heimwehr. The Heimwehr alone is the power on the streets of Austria to keep peace in order. Schuschnigg is wrong in distrusting them. They surely will prove their loyalty to him eventually, so... Um, but yeah, we're gonna go down this path that ISP took, finding common ground. Now we could go with the Austro Austro-Hungarian route, but I definitely want to go with the better German route because that sounds more fun. Also, we're on a struggle, so we might see some really funky things here. The memory of Engelbert Dolfus. Engelbert Dolfus has led Austria as his dictator since the 1933 onwards. When in March of 33, he disbanded the Austrian Parliament and governed by decree, banning the Social Democratic Party (SDAPO) and the NSDAP seek to consolidate and secure its rule. However, because of his rival fear of Nazi influence in Austria, he was assassinated on July 25th, 1934, when eight Austrian uh, uh, daddies um, entered the Chancellery building and shot and killed Dolphus in an attempted coup. Luckily, they ultimately failed the goal and the, the, the group surrendered and were executed. Kutschishnik became the new dictator of Austria in the aftermath, heading the nation up to this day. We have to be careful with those pesky Germans. But then we're going to go move to eliminate political enemies. With Heimbera heading government rule on the Vaterlands front, and thus in Austria, we must move quickly to secure rule and overcome political enemies. Vyshushnik Stimshan, Communists, Socialists, or Democrats, any possible danger has to be dealt with in advance. The Heimbera, after all, seeks to make Austria a safer place, for the Austrians at least. Kutschushnik is still using his large influence on Austrian politics to harm our cause. He's spreading dissent and seeking to destabilize the rule. We have to dissolve this issue as soon as possible situation. I've got quite a few things here, and we have the propaganda posters too. Austria above all, which would be pretty nice, 5% more for 180 days. Austrians banner up, guarding, not bad too. Join the Fatherland Front, weekly stability, I like that as well. Follow the Red Bastion, nice. Uh, trust beloved homeland, trust the Heimwehr, not bad too. I do like weekly balanced power change, um, the political power. Support the warfare by war bonds, God Emperor Austria, plus 10%, I like that a lot too. Together we fight. Take defense core territory, we'll definitely need that later on. No more war for peace and prosperity. Decent. More date. Yeah, that's okay. It's not great. The truth about capitalists. Mm. Democracy, fascism, and support for our line goes down. Workers of Austria rise. It's not bad. Because right now we're on the this year path. That there fascist path. And eventually we will need to move to eliminate political enemies, of course. And uh, get more daily fascist support. We lose 20% of our political power, which sucks. It is what it is. I uh, wouldn't mind going to get rid of Shushnik, but this tree is not bad. It just really focuses on a, a fascist um, civil civil war. Fascist Austria. Um, we could go big Austria or Treaty of Liechtenstein. So, but I like this one because it gives you a lot of route to, to move around from. So, one more days we have. Twenty-two days left. Um, it says we can choose something here, huh? Hold a speech in major town, patrol the countryside. Oh, we go over here. Retire first one, Schoenberg. Schahenberg has been long since fallen of grace, nonetheless he still possesses a threat, or poses a threat, to the government under Schuschnigg. Removing him from the position of interior minister will make sure his influence in Austria will gradually perish. Arrest radicals within the Heimwehr. The Heimwehr is a large paramilitary organization, and as such as so attracts certain groups of people. Some being criminals or some more rampaging or remaining in the shadow zone. It should not be too hard for us to justify the rest of some of these people. And who do we want? Heimwehr versus... Vata Landische Front. Lobby industrial support for the VF. Many industrials in Austria are concerned of a Heimwehr takeover and are willing to fund uh, our government in order to keep uh, enable to keep the Heimwehr in check. Oh well. What speech in a major town? Could Shushnik personally holds a small speech in a small major town in the countryside, not only to show presence and interest in the more rural areas, but also to combat the Heimwehr's influence there from a uh, promised Heimsburg restoration. Oh. Us personally have lots of monetary resources to aid in our cause, but also are still relatively popular in Austria. Appeal to the old nostalgia of return of the Imperial City, or Imperial Days of Austria, might help us gain even more support in the populace. Our neighboring states, however, will very likely not be too happy about these developments. Oh, interesting. Major Heimwehr Parades. 
Holding the ground, Heimwehr provided in one of Austria's major cities should impress the local populace while also intimidating its enemies. So you can tell I'm funding. Stahemberg has long since had relatively good connections in Italy and not to met with the Duce himself. It should be too hard for him to convince the Italians to fund the Heimwehr while also giving them concessions and loyalty in return. That's not bad. Patrol the countryside. Austria's rural areas are those in which the Heimwehr is most prominent. However, influences from other parties and factions pose a threat nonetheless. The Heimwehr's dominance on the countryside has to prevail. Patrolling and keeping the villages in check should do the job. Arm the people. I was just heading towards another civil war. Oh boy. Interesting. But we're not choose anything yet. Oh! So we chose our route and got rid of everything else. Prepare a new constitution. That's not bad. Oh. So. Ernst Rüdiger Stammberg is a country leader. Interesting. Huh. For a new constitution. Sure, why not? We'll do that one first. 5% political power. I don't mind that, but I want more than just 5% and we get that one. Hmm. Low influence. Daily political power gain. War support. I'm bear. Korean Constitution, I like the political power. Economic policy is not too much for there, so it is what it is. What is this? Other oh, virus cannot be fired. Weekly balance, power of change. Weekly manpower goes up by 100. Well, that's not bad. Lose political power and get better consumer goods, but lose weekly stability. Which you don't like. Oh god, who do we have here? Holy crap. The hybrid makes this more costly. Oof. Look at all the stuff we've got here. Liberator of Ukraine, huh? Interesting. So like that. Oh, we removed uh, friends Korshoner. Okay, well, whatever. Internal fighting the battle action from his behind there. Okay, interesting. Because this guy we gotta get rid of, so we gotta go this direction. Internal fighting of the dictatorship. So we gotta get to here. Actually, gives us more political power if we go that direction. Hmm. Parade, seeking Italian funding. It's not bad. I don't want to lose any more stability, though. Patrol of the country itself, 5% only. Not aligned. Arm. Lose stability. That, that wouldn't do very much for us. This costs 80. Go and choose that one. 100. More war support. Because we're going to lose stability. With the Heimwehr. Yeah, we want this one for now. So in the meantime, what do we got here? A near bankrupt economy. Our economy has faced difficult times ever since the creation of the Austrian Republic after the Great War. Fixing these numerous issues will take lots of effort, time, and resources. But our country is ever up to, to be if our country is ever to be stable and flourish, a strong and stable economy has to be built up. And we got to do a report on the Hale, 1936. Our main body of the armed forces, the Bundesheer, has suffered massively the past years. The Treaty of St. Germain still puts large restrictions upon them, disallowing a proper rearmament over here. The rising influence of the paramilitaries of the past decade has brought big troubles, and alongside the fights in February and of July 1934, the Bundesheer has to be put into use internally. There are means to do something to make sure we don't die. Basically. Heimwehr February Parade, the Heimwehr leadership. Most notably, Fürst Stahemberg has called for a grand parade across the nation. Thousands of Heimwehr members roam the streets of Innsbruck, Linz, and Wien itself. At the Central located at Ringstrasse, spanning around the historic inner city of Wien. The parade has stayed peaceful for the most part and attracted many curious by watchers, whilst the power of the Heimwehr on the streets of across Austria might seem unthink unshakable. When you pose them silently, it might only take one unifying figure to enable the fall of the Heimwehr gradually. Schuschnigg himself is not committed to competing on their new parades. Impressive? I still want more weekly war support. Well, we're going not a line for this one, because Heimwehr, we need the Heimwehr for now to do what we want to do. Because for this route, oh, well, we can look over there. A better Germany. Remove the Heimwehr, of course. Uh, the new German Empire. Remove also fascism, because we're not going fascist. And this before unaligned will go up. So we're going unaligned anyway. So we finally get the unaligned one here. Weekly stability, manpower. Trust the Heimwehr. If we do that one. Oh, that's kind of handsome. So it'll go this way, which we want. 
Operations File DR, Operations DR, Operation Event German Reich, as a code name of the current battle plan against the German Reich in case of an invasion. The newly formed General Staff under uh, Wilhelm Zander and Alfred Janssen is hotly debating on how to best resist a possible German invasion. In the event of war with the Reich, Austria should be standing alone against a superpower, and the Bundeswehr is severely underfunded and undermaintained. Janssen has brought forward the idea to not defend Austria's border itself in case of war, but rather see Austria as a defensive realm, retreating to specific points to gain a strategic advantage over the enemy. Fortification should be constructed along these key positions, especially in Lower Austria, where it's likely for the German army to try and rush towards Wien. 116 million shilling spent upon the defense of Austria in a year has been increased to 250 million shilling until 1940, modernizing the Bundeswehr and constructing another layer of defense defenses in the Alps. Let's get to work, my friends. Absolutely. We must get to work. As you can see, our military is pretty bad. God dang it. God awful. God, I go see you. You're better in defense. Xander. It's fine. I'm trying to your butts fall off, basically. So you four are infantry, 16, 18 combat, which are decent. And you guys 16 combat, with, which are decent. And then you guys are not decent. God dang it. Is there anybody going to be able to hold this? God, no. Ah, Germany's in civil war, though. Oh, boy. Just straight Germany. Civil war in Germany. Surprising news from Germany. The democracy officers have opposed Hitler and his remilitarization of the Rhineland and the civil war has broken up between the different factions. It is yet to be seen which side will be the victorious one, but it would probably be wise to aid them now in their time of need so that they may find an ally in us and not a nation that wishes to be integrated into Germany. Nevertheless, this turn of events is great news to us as Germany is no longer able to maintain her influence on us. She uses this expanded time frame to rearm and seek international relations. Support Mackinson. Move German influence. Neutrality is preferable. We lose 500 infantry equipment. Because uh, for this one, oh, the ruling party must not be. The Majunta must be this one. Interesting. Okay, so we have to go back and change things up. The ruling party. Well, doesn't mean they're going to win. But I'm still going to go down the route no matter what. New German Empire is not not a lot. So they pretty much have to go fascist or communist, but you never know. We'll go with neutrality for now. We'll see what happens. Our very own fault. Oh, I forgot this, this one. Austrian Dolchstab legend. Legendary stab in the back committed by the socialists and communists is why Germany lost the Great War. We can make like the situation in Austria was the same, but our very own fault. The myth of the German army was only defeated in the Great War uh, is because of a stab in the back by the socialists. This myth, also known as prominent, exists in Austria as well. We must realize that there is no stab in the back by the socialists. The entire war and the reason we lost was our own fault. Accepting this reality might be harsh, but it's the only way for us to progress and properly deal with our past. Bundes Österreich, Bundesstaat Österreich. Because I don't want to get rid of this guy. Forbid elections. Here's this one. Hold fake elections. We should not ban elections officially. We just regular elections to turn them to our profit. Forbid elections. We should completely forbid elections. Many people won't like it, but it's an important step to make Austria great again. Agricultural focus versus focus on the workers in the cities, the workers in the urban areas, or keep this country running. We should aid them financially and improve the situation in order to gain their support and deter, deter them from seeking a more radical regime in our place. We should also ultimately increase their work efficiency long term, making the state itself profit from this as well. Agricultural focus. Okay. Civil construction speed. All right. Fascist demagogue. Plus 0.5 mobilization speed goes down more max entrenchment. Speed defense 0.3. Speed. Uh, plus 0.3 more entrenchment worth it. Plus plus 0.5 every day. Eventually, army speed won't really matter. So I want to go with speed because you can move. You can use it a whole, for a whole bunch of th different things. Got policies. Um. Oh, good. That was a nice flag. More support, political power, manpower. Oh, yeah. God, Emperor Austria. Kami's coup in Ethiopia. Very nice. Basic machine tools. Very nice. 
put in the here. Why not? I'm about to take over. Oh, look at that. Today, first, Starnberg has witnessed his chance uh, uh, to take over the nation. The Heimwehr's growing influence on the countryside has led up to this. A march in Vienna was held. Surprisingly, Schuschnigg ordered his supporters to stand down and a peaceful transition of power took place. While it's easy to take over, surely something for the Heimwehr to celebrate. It doesn't solve the problem that Schuschnigg still holds a lot of influence in Austrian politics. The Austrian Nazi Party. That's announced a new Heimwehr rule and will become the new largest opposition force of the Heimwehr, assumably. Vetrau, liebe Heimat, Vetrau. Nice. Look at this guy. And that's Rudiger Steinberg. The big daddy of the Heimbau. Cool. Well, I guess we could... Yeah, we couldn't save anything there. That's fine. Uh, stuff's all okay. Where are we at for this? So for this, we're over here. Oh, crap. We're actually lost a lot of political power now. God dang it. Wow, that's really bad. Use even more. Daily army XP goes up. Um, actually, if you go over here, trust, beloved homeland, trust. You get more daily army XP, weekly manpower. Interesting. Because right now we're losing a crap ton. But here you don't lose anything. Huh. Now get Kutschishny. So a large influence on Austrian politics. You're only supporting the core, so this might be subject to change. Interesting. Reduce conscription. Move to eliminate political enemies. Yeah, so we're going to this one next. So then we'll lose more political power and get more daily fascist influence. Promise Habsburg restoration. The Bundesheer 1936. Barely anything has changed since 1920. Inside the main body of our armed forces, the Bundesheer. The army was used to deal with the Austrian Civil War in 1934, but despite the success they managed to achieve in those days, the structures of, of our army are in dire need of reform, but even more importantly, a full scale rearmament has been implemented. Has to be. We have expanded the army to so far 30,000 soldiers. But this time, this is only the first step, as many of the first steps that lie ahead of us. The Standen Commandant. Alright. And then we'll do this one fine coming ground. We may have our issues with Shushnig and he with us, but it's clear to us both that we need each other to cooperate. Austrians should fight Austrians, but our enemies shall face the United Austria. Well, Grand Schuschnigg makes several concessions, and a new role as interior minister to satisfy him. He is known to have only sympathies with Habsburg restoration, though. Interesting. Oh, reclaim. Oh. No Croatian officers, huh? Good working conditions, which should be nice. The German records be getting beaten up, which is cool. Um, do we just, like, beeline and go all the way to the right as hard as we possibly can? Because I do want to do this one, though. Eventually. The Eisenhower Legion. The fight for political support in Austria happens to a large parts in the streets. As of now, there's no paramilitary group fully dedicated to the restoration of the monarchy. Under Azog, Ez, Ezherzog Otto, establishing our own paramilitary group and drawing advisors from ex-members of other paramilitaries promised us to quickly and efficiently build up a force to march down the streets of Wien. Heimwehr rises in Austria. Heimwehr paramilitary force since the decades president in Austria has increased in influence on politics within the country since uh, past months. Previously, when it looked like its leader, first... Uh, Stahemberg would gradually get outlined and overruled by Kurt Schuschnigg. The opposite has happened. Stahem himself is now in charge of the nation. While well, his power is from, far from absolute, and he still has to make compromises with Schuschnigg and other groups, it's clear that his group will shape Austrian politics and history for the years to come. Vatrau, Heimat? Vatrau? More stability. So right now we're going up a little bit every week. Which is kind of nice, actually. So now we're 48% here. Yeah, so pretty bad. What is this? Osterreichische Neutralität. Since the establishment of the First Republic following the Great War, Austria has been a neutral nation. It has not changed much even with the establishment of the Austro-Fascist government under Dolphus in 1934. International isolation, even for a far extending simple neutrality, will become one of Austria's greatest problems should the country be faced by Germany demanding the annexation of Austria or Anschluss. Austro-Fascism The new authoritarian rule of Austria, established with the May Constitution in 1934, under Engelbert Dolphus with the paramilitia wings of the Heimbau and Stummkohl, in many ways, being very similar to Mussolini's fascist Italy, also fascism. <clears throat> uh, especially worthless Catholic values. Huh. Or were these, were these Catholic values? The new national coalition. Because Shishnik has and expected to prove it for a proposition to him, a proposal to him. It's clear that we need each other in order to save or have Austria free and stable. 
United we show all stand against the socialists and especially the German Nazis for our free independent Austria. Schuschnigg will have to rule as interior minister and do his utmost to help Stahenberg rule the country until one of the more specific points of the agreements have been fulfilled. Rot weiss rot bis enden tod. So we can't do this one yet. We can still do this one. Establishment of the Iron Legion. Um, where'd it go here? Oh. Increase, increase the austerity measures. Just a stagnating economy. Strict economic austerity, huh? Power to the Zumpfwesen. Re-abolish the Zumpfwesen. Electrification. I kind of like that. Gear and investment's not bad. Lights. I like stability. I don't want this one yet. Electrification of the countryside. Enough areas in Austria are lacking in electrification, especially rural areas on the countryside. This state of things can no longer be accepted in a modern state, and every Austrian shall enjoy the advantages of having electricity. Uh, this would also allow our industry and agriculture to profit from this, allowing them to use new technologies. And then we also have over here, too. Reintroduce conscription. It's without any debate needed to introduce reintroduce conscription in our country. The little entente Treaty of St. Germain has prevented us from doing so in the past, but now is the right time to ignore these restrictions. No matter what Yugoslavia or the Czechs might think, we have the support of the Western powers in the past concerning the build-up of our own air fleet. They surely will all support us. Totally. Participants from Austria managed to get four gold medals and six silver medals in many different categories. In the competition for riding, one of our general major AD managed to get Austria on the fourth place in this category. Moreover, from Marshal Lieutenant Jansa has reached out to him with an offer to join the newly formed Austrian General Corps to reform and rebuild the Austrian air armed forces. Pongras is sure as a skilled rider and officer for the army, but he might not be the most reform-seeking man in Austria. I mean, people like him. Sure, we'll use him for now. Let's see what route these guys take. Saint. Treaty of Saint-Germain and Lay. The Treaty of Saint-Germain and Lay is in many ways similar to the Treaty of Versailles or Trianon. So out of the Great War, it defines the Austrian territorial losses, but even more the military restrictions placed on a country. That is still preventing us to freely rearm them to this day. Revoking this treaty should be one of our most primary tools. Establishment of the Iron Legion. Today the Eisenhower Legion was officially established as headquarters located within Wien, being situated near the inner city of the city. In the inner center of the city and the Ringstrasse, it has excellent location to allow for quick operations to take place. Many experienced ex-members of other paramilitaries have been recruited to train the Iron Legion. As of now, only 350 members are present in Wien, but the, this is subject to changes. We can now begin to rapidly expand the group throughout all of Austria. So the streets in every major city, be it Innsbruck or Graz, will be ruled by the Iron Legion, and at least for now, the Heimbarrel, the allied paramilitary group, one step closer to the restoration. So now we get to wait on Germany. Which sucks. But we do have things we can do down here, so. Here's some austerity measures. The austerity measures have to be increased and enforced more strictly. This, of course, will hurt our economy or country for now, but long term we'll gain from this and we can finally uh, abolish new austerity policies as a whole. Because Houston is not the current leader. I'll probably go to power the Zenith Festival, maybe? Unemployment will decrease. Unemployment will decrease. Oh, uh, the Zenith are abolished. You'll get falling. Uh, Modifiers for the country. And the Zunta are empowered. We get this one. So, modify economic austerity, political power, consumer goods, stability, max factories in state. With economic austerity, you get more max factories in the state. Fuel gain for oil goes up too. For both. Uh, we'll get more political power that one. And consumer goods. Power of the Zunta Vessel. The most symbolic reinstitution of the Zunta or guilds of the Vandalistische Front should be further encouraged and go beyond the symbolic meaning. Uh, guides will now, guilds will now be enforced for any craftsman requirement to join in order to be able to run his business. Competition between different businesses will be discouraged and shall all work, work together caring for each other. Or we should just re-abolish them. For the most part, symbolic reinstitution of the guilds of the Vatalandes Chafram should be re-abolished. These medieval structures have no place in the modern economy, uh, and neither in the modern Austria. Competition between different businesses has to be encouraged in order for creativity and economic growth to happen. Well, it's not democratic. We're not democratic, we're not communists. Now we'll do this one anyways. Rebolish them. The French government will send a harsh and fast reaction to our proposal of free rearmament for our armed forces. We'll not accept any of these points we requested when stated that the Treaty of St. Germain is unnegotiable and that they'll do whatever is within their power to enforce it. There has to be another way. The French think that they're masters of this world, but they're wrong. There's so many other countries that have played a major role in the world, and those might have an interest in the rearmament of Austria. Germany? Better agree with the French? She has a strong style out Italy. Do that one. Neighbors issue a note of protest. Our neighbors have issued a note of protest um, against our plans of rearmament. 
Practically, it doesn't change anything for us. The French have guaranteed us that we'll be able to freely rearm. The split of opinions within the Antennas is definitely welcome side effect. Let them rent, and the Antennas back down. Okay. <coughs> Didn't think that would happen. A truly great day for diplomacy and peace. The Antennas powers have agreed to our terms to a freely rearm, as any sovereign nation is allowed to do. The newly reformed Austrian general staff has already announced to not only expand all branches of the armed forces, but also undertake huge reforms in the command structure. Modernized weaponry, uniforms, and tactics are highly needed. Meanwhile, especially Czechoslovakia seems to be taking a close look at the development of our army, and seems ready to act if they feel threatened. We have much ahead of us. Huh. They actually listen to us. Reveal the general staff. Army XP. Oh my god, how much do we penalties? A lot of penalties to that, Jesus. Air stuff. Naval efforts. I do want this one too. Rebuild the general staff. Field Marshal Lieutenant Alfred Young took over the chief of army already in 1935 and has already rebuilt the general staff, which, yet yeah, this hasn't happened yet officially titled. But now the general staff is ready, it's time to change as long as the preparations are from the Bundeswehr and a large scale shall be put forward. Uh oh. Oh god. Um, that's not good for us, probably. If that's the case, we're going to come all the way over here and do trust Italy. The towns have promised in 1934 to defend our independence with force if necessary. We need to strengthen our ties with them, ignoring the matter of the South Tyrol for the time being. The promise for our peaceful independence is to a large part in Italy's hands. Alright, we got a crap ton of political power. Okay, so, here we fight. All oh, the Red Bastion, weekly war support goes up. So, more weekly stability, though. Could be in a war soon too with those guys down here. But it's called power gains. They support. Co uh. Get more fascism every day though, which I don't want. Fascism, popular figurehead's okay. The Cardinal von Wien. Support for underlying and fascism goes up, but get more temper, more political power. Interesting. Leader of the Aguirre Union. Democracy though. Notice the gentleman's good. Technocrat. Communism. Richard. Richard Stiedel. Political power goes up, war support, defense, division defense of core territory, less fascism every day, and political bias cost goes down. Interesting. Von Bayern, political cost. Prince of Terror, I like that. Not a lot for non aligned, in all honesty. That's weird. Mother population, Cardinal, huh. I might just try. This guy, maybe. Fascism goes down. Slightly more political power. It depends on core territory. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Let's choose him. Because I never choose this guy. Why not? I don't trust the Hungarians now. Now that they've made their move. I'll just go here anyways. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of factories in these, but still. This is kind of unique as well. You know what? We're going to get more political power. Screw it. Why not? Growing high influence is hurting us. This guy's hurting us for political power. I'm going to re-abolish it. And then we're going to trust Italy just in case. And uh, fortify Brenna. Buy Italian equipment. Treaty of Bozen. Another. We probably want to renew the own protocols just in case. So I'm renew the renew the protocols, expand them to a defensive pact. Which should make the Germans think twice about for attacking us, maybe? Oh, I guess in the event that Germany does attempt to answer us, it'll get an option to intervene. Uh, we also need to expand the Grossglockner Highway. The Grossglockner Highway is long after a long period of time. Uh, construction finally opened in 1935. And it only created lots of work for unemployment people. Uh, added strategic important roads networks in the Alps, but also showed the possibilities of Austrian engineering and what could be possibly once the economic crisis have passed. We should expand the highway further into the Alps, connecting Austria via the road network. Why not we do that one first? Screw it. I'm there. Powerful national paramilitary force within Austria. They have their origins in the aftermath of the Great War and dealt with any social uprising or potential uh, external threats. Ever since the dissolution of the Social Democratic Party in Austria, their main enemy is the Austrian NSDAP, which is advocating for an entrance of Austria into the German Reich. Today, they play a big role in Austria's internal security and often act as a police force. While they largely support the rule of the Vaterland Front, their leader, Fürst Schallenberg, and the current Chancellor Schuschnigg are bound to clash eventually. Oh boy. So let's 
gonna do. Guns are okay, trucks. So let's see what Germany's going. They're going Democrat. As long as they're not, not, not aligned, that's what we really care about. But if not, I'll have to redo some of this, but which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm gonna trust the Italians for now. Uh, and oh wow. We could keep it on this way, but I don't really want to go that way for this, for now, you know? Renew their own protocols. Yeah. Time to renew the protocols, expand them to a defense pack, to make the Germans think twice about attacking us. Absolutely. Hmm. This is getting useful. Heimschutz Brigaden. The war is near. The Bundeswehr is far from ready to defend the Austrian soil against a foreign invader. We're simply too small and ill equipped. Equipment can be bought when the time needs to be there, but soldiers have to be well trained in order for it to be efficient, and this takes time. And as such, we'll announce the creation of the Heimschutz Brigaden. Electrification would be good. And build up hydroelectric energy. The Austrian Alps, with as many lakes high up in the mountains, offer the perfect conditions to build up hydroelectric energy plants. They do promise to be efficient in producing enough energy to more than justify their upkeep. However, because of the terrain, construction of these plants will be costly and difficult. A task, however, we are daring to take. So, I've gone back and basically replayed and made sure Germany actually went fascist this time. So, we actually did the better Germany. There's no denying an Austrians not being German. We are Germans, but we're not fanatical radicals without dignity or some sense of honor that live without religion to our north. We're no better than... We are... No, we are better... We are the better Germany. We are the real Germany. And the new German Empire... Germans are meant to be unified, but not under a Nazi flag. They should be unified again by the Hohenzollern. That should be great. And we can invite these guys down here too. Those will weaken our country as a public support for our Hohenzollern on throne is low, but once Germany is united, those will benefit us greatly. Oh boy. Win over the people. Handling Austrian nationalists. Let's get that done fast. Um, it's going to suck, but it's alright. But, you know, I said, I, I said, you know, let's go with this guy. Why not? It's plus point, point one, point five, whatever it is, what it is. Got German influence, although. Crisis in the Fatherland Front. The Fatherland Front is facing a real recent crisis because of the somewhat irritating political decisions by Shishnik. Many members of the Front have demanded him to step down immediately, or at least change the course of things dramatically. While most of them somewhat endorse a monarchist restoration of Prussian and Protestant Kaiser on the Catholic throne of Austria, something few support. Meanwhile, Shishnik, along to the Heimwehr leader Stahemberg, hold on to the idea as long as it could bring a stable, unified Greater Germany that is holding Austria as a main power in it and plays a unification role. How lucky that is, such, that such day might even come is, to say the least, controversial. Trishnik is announced to clamp down any opposition, backed by the Heimwehr, the Fatherland Front overall, loses more and more influence in Austria as Stahemberg and Trishnik begin to rule more and more independently. Let them destroy themselves. Oh boy. Yay. Let's try and win over the people. You know, we're just trying to do the best we can. So we can't do this one yet. Scare the new state. Cool. Because I definitely want to at least get Trust Italy still in there, too. Um, we haven't done the economy stuff, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll get to that done eventually. Um, I guess we could lobby for support, and then invite the Hohenzollerns. On our steps to rebuild the German Empire, it's obviously one of the most important to bring the Imperial family to the new seat of power. The old Kaiser, Velden II, is currently next to the Netherlands, and bringing him to Austria could uh, cause difficulties. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. There we go, synthetic oil, because why not? Radios, of course, we're replaying just a little bit, slight bit of this. Um, I thought I wanted these guys up here first. Get them civvies done first. Uh, handling Austrian nationals. Ugh. Doubtable. Change is still going up by 0.5, though, which is really good, though. Oh, and there goes Italy. Yep, so much for trying to rely on the Italians, I guess. Um, the Democratic, even though most of these guys have... Uh, oh, well... Huh. I have peace with the Republic in Italy. Uh, maybe they'll win? Maybe they won't? Oh god. Well, we'll see. Treaty of Bozen, huh? I'm gonna invite these guys next. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully they win. They're, they're expanding out. Trucks, nice. Um, we'll do everything that we need to do before. And yeah, there you go, nice. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, export focus. We got all these guys up here. Okay, we're no longer handling them. So, between two giants. Austria finds herself in a precarious position in the center of Europe, surrounded by nations that are either her enemies or seek the entire annexation of her country. Germany has long since wanted to Anschluss Austria and incorporate into the Reich, and there are many in Austria that would welcome such development. 
The Southwest Italy, a former of Aus enemy of Austria in the Great War, the two nations have since then reapproached each other in mostly on good terms. With several agreements signed guaranteeing Austria's independence, however, with the Abyssinian War and the subsequent isolation of Italy internationally, Italy is seeking new friends in Germany, and as such, practically revoking her independence of guaranteeing Austria. Current influence of Italy is limited. Current influence of German Reich is limited. Agreed Italy agrees to protect us. Our diplomats return with the best news possible. Italy's refurbished stance on Austrian independence has not officially guaranteed it and even defended it with weapons if necessary. Alongside this, new economic cooperation plans have been laid ahead to aid both of our struggling economies. This should make Germany think twice about realizing their entrust dream. Now with Italy on our side, we can refocus our diplomatic efforts wherever we see fit. It's really good news. I'll see how things are lost. Increase down influence. Sign trade agreements with them. Replace German influence with weakened German influence. Yeah, that'd be good. Buy time rifles. Strengthen Austro German trade. Increase German influence. We can talk to Germany. Huh. Interesting. Arrest German sympathizers. German equipment. I mean, that would give us more stability, which would be nice. Promise, ha promise Habsburg's restoration? Probably not. Lobby for support. Invite the Hawkins all I want to get this one done first because we could just use another melee immediately. Like, it's super important. Actually, since you're here, can we actually help you out at all? No. Saint Attaché? You know what? We're going to Saint Attaché. People might not like it, but we might get slightly more uh, army XP, maybe? And we see what's going on, too. It's always beneficial. If you were to move fast enough and crush all these guys here, you'd have enough divisions to pull the line here, which you don't... Oh, my God. What are you doing over here? Bruh. Dude, don't go there. Go there and destroy those... Oh, my God. Trying to get the AI to act correctly it just seems insane. Uh, We need them to win. So, I might do some funky stuff here. Holland's on the rise in Vienna. Yeah, we're going to need to do some funky stuff. We might buy some Italian equipment, though. And buying Italian equipment would do not further strength in the attacks between our na two nations, but also getting some much needed rifles. Artillery and others are so dally needed equipment for the Bundes here, rearming our nation in the process. Hohenzollern arrives in Vienna. This night, the Hohenzollern family crossed the Austro German border, and now they've arrived in Vienna. Public this city has mixed feelings about this development. This might get us into problems. Gross Arctic. Increase austerity measures, of course, we're going to do right now because we are looming bankruptcy. Not good. Uh, but secure the new state. We must act quickly and do our best to secure a newly created German state. The false government in Berlin has often intervened in matters in the region of Austria, and will surely seek to do so again. Uh, not a fashion, but fine, whatever. Um, so, uh, we will not ever allow any more traitors in our lines that fight for evil regime, internal security, and police force will have to be expanded and trained. The fourth, the Kaiser Deutschlands. Now they've proclaimed themselves as the true German state, it's time to go over to the next step of the restoration. The people are ready, so as a state in the constitution, the only thing missing now is the head of state itself, it's Kaiser. The only question remaining is who shall become the monarch of the new German Empire, a question to who, which many people have different answers for. And Austria will unite the Germans. Uh, we'll do this one. Yeah, I try to help them out down there, but it's just a giant flick. Flicking mess? Frickin' mess. Mein Gott. Nice. Happy 37, everybody. Got plenty of political power. There was that focus. We did get War Economy, too, which is pretty nice. Um, anything over here, refineries, would be nice. Industrials. Mauza. I got the Republic of Italy, land doctrine, air doctrine, that doesn't really concern me too much. Ah. You're in the fatherland front, huh? Ah, it's just going to cost more every time we do it, so. Is it worth it? Probably not. Weekly manpower? Stability? Sure, why not? We'll take it. What about next? Thirty days for this. Strict economic austerity. Not great, but whatever. Now it's looking way better. Whew. These guys are looking like a mess, but whatever. We've only nine divisions still, which sucks. 
We could, we can talk to Germany. But I don't think we will. I don't think that proved to be very good for us. And we have no planes, too. Of course, no navy, which sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? All right, let's see what happens. Well, now that we've made enough preparations <clears throat> uh, to restore the Kaiserreich in Austria, but who shall lead the new Reich? We found the second, the old Kaiser of the Second Reich. Well, the flame and glory of the good old days, but the legacy of the Great War what may overshadow him. The son crown Prince Wilhelm will grant the Wilhelm III is another valid option for the throne, and it may be mod modernized many things to reform the Reich. One other option that seemed to have gained some popularity is the crowning Wilhelm II's daughter, Wilhelm Victoria Louise. There seems to be quite a lot of people discontent with the idea of a woman sitting on the throne in his power. A new face for a new and modern Europe might or empire might prove to be the right move. Old Kaiser? Interesting. Imperial connections. New Kaiser? Fascist sympathies. Anti communist, though. Imperial connections, of course. You know. What about Victoria? Kaiser and the people. Political power, stability, weekly stability, war support, defense of core territory, imperial connections. Kaiser and the people. Uh, of course, we gotta go with her. It's our favorite. Curious news coming from Wien. Not only have the Hohenzollern since longer arrived in the capital of Vienna, but then the ruling government of the Vaterlandische Front came to the conclusion. A restoration of the monarchy in Austria is the right move ahead for the country. What is unclear, however, is exactly how it came to the decision to put a Hohenzollern on the throne of Austria, or rather the new German Empire, as, as is now proclaimed. Germany was quick to announce the opposer sitting in Wien as an illegitimate government. And the only real German state is the Re German Reich in Berlin. The reactions from France and Britain are rather quiet since fighting in the German state seemed imminent. What a weird time to live in. Strengthen relations with other monarchies, so we'll send our diplomatic envoys to improve our relations with the other European monarchies and gain support for a restoration of the German Empire. Liberate the home front. Uh, the time's coming to liberate our German homeland from the Nazi scum sitting in Berlin. Uh, long live the Free Germany, long live the Kaiser, or oh, anti Nazi front. Oh crap. Uh. Being a conference, huh? Basically, all I have to do is hold out. We're not even making any divisions, god dang it. We don't have enough guns, anyways. Or manpower. Or anything here. Oh, look at this! Guys, I'm Victoria Luis. Look at her. Fantastic. We still have this guy here. Pretty nice. Taking crap. Well connected citizen. Stability. Captain of Industry. Oh, we can get this guy back once once higher. This guy cannot be fired. Weekly stability goes down. Uh, daily fascist support goes up. Daily support on the line goes up though, too. Cardinal though. Swiss Confederation wants Vorarlberg as a canton. Soon the Switzerland is demanding the state of Vorarlberg to join the Confederation. They said a uh, referendum. In 1919, when the state overwhelmingly joined, voted to join as a canton of the Swiss Confederation, but were rejected by the Swiss themselves. There is no change of minds, whether we accept it or not. So obviously, I have their sights set on expansion, so we should tread carefully. Tread carefully. And be ready to defend our territory, even if we accept their demands. Uh, will they actually go to war with us for this? Um, Bundesliga 936, like we did before. This first entry is very nice. Go and reduce conscription, because my god, do we need it immediately? Construction, yes. Austria German trade. Pakistan and India. Oh. Oh crap. Okay, that's interesting. They actually did go to war with us, didn't they? Wow. I didn't think they actually would. do that one, but still. Well, okay. The downtown is back down, of course. Like I said, did earlier. Oh, we're war now. Take that to the front. Um, 
Great Britain, France, Poland, Czechoslovakia. Poland, Czechoslovakia, France. They join the little Entente and then immediately surrender. My gosh. So what's going on here? Little Entente. Right, us. Cool. That's good for army XP, I guess, you know. Uh, you use aristocratic wealth and nobility, poses a large amount of cash, but also wealth in form of land, houses, cattle, and castles, and palaces, as well as art and so on. For New Germany to succeed, you need to make at least some of that wealth fluent and invest in the future without the necessary funds or chance for victory are limited even further. Attract industrializing industrial support. Prussian army. Our Austrian army shall be modeled into a German and Prussian one. Deeply unpopular with many of our uh, <clears throat> Austrian generals, but you know, let's make sure soon we have a modern, especially well trained army with Prussian ideals leading them to victory. Jugendwehr? We should start establishing a new paramilitary organization which is focused only on the youth. Youth is the future, so they're coming soldiers, workers, and rulers. Yeah. I thought we said we want soldiers. A circle is so weird. Wait, what happened to. Did we get puppeted? Under our army. Uh. Well then. told to disband. Well then, okay. Well, we'll continue working on this then. Um, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm going to go back and see what happened. I might just end the episode here because we got some other focuses we can do in the meantime and have a good time and whatnot. So, uh, uh, if you enjoyed the video though, as we're trying to get to, uh, back to be a big old Germany, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do as we have been gimped really freaking hard. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.